Land bank crews work hard to remove blight. The crews mow tall grass and remove trash from all vacant properties in Flint. Not only do the crews improve the appearance of the neighborhoods, they also provide jobs for local citizens. In 2009, when, when stimulus money was available from the federal government, we found ourselves in a nice position of being able to add about 75 people to work on blight maintenance crews in the city of Flint. These were weed and trash abatement crews that pick up trash, mow grass, take down high weeds, and board and secure houses. In that period of time, and in fact since 2009, we have removed from the city of Flint tons of trash, some of which had been sitting there for many years. The first year that we were on the program, we removed 1,500 tons of trash. The second year, 600 tons of trash. We've been removing about over 450 tons of trash every year since. It's a program that really helps the community. The neighbors really appreciate the work that's done. The neighbors actually will come out and, and help the crews, give them water and thank them for being there. It's been a very rewarding project for us. Land Bank hired me. I was excited about it at first because I never, I ain't had a job working outside in Flint. So I was just like, hey, let me give it a shot. And I've been here ever since. It's been going on four years now. So it, I've been hearing good things about it. People had, had got houses from them and just, just was like, hey, work it out. <laughs> we go through the city of Flint. We, we cut abandoned houses, houses that are in distress, picking up trash and making sure that the grass is cut. I grew up in Flint. I worked for a venture out in Grand Blanc for nine years, and uh, my, my job got sent away to Canada, so I ended up taking the job program at, at Mott and, and found my way here. I feel like I'm helping out to do positive things for Flint. I think uh, without the land bank, there would be a, a lot more blight. Oh, it, it makes it look a lot better. It, it's amazing what it looked like before we come through and then after we come through it looked a lot, a whole lot better. I grew up um, here in Flint. I've worked here for six, this is my sixth summer. Before I was working for the land bank, I was a manager of a three-quarter house, like of a substance abuse home, you know. And I had a problem with substance abuse myself, so, but now I've been good from drinking and alcohol for eight years now, you know, so. And it really impacted my life a whole lot. Um, a lot of things has changed in my life because of the work you know, that I do, and um, well, it just helped me so much tremendously. It, it changed my life a whole lot. And you know, 51 years old, I had a daughter at 50, my only child, you know, and, that, and it's, just, it's just wonderful. You know, I just feel good about, about everything about that, you know, about the job and everything. And, and then I learned a whole lot from being here too within the six years. Like I said, you know, the biggest thing for me, I learned how to drive a trailer and a tractor. That's something I never did. You know, I call myself a guy from the city, you know, now I do stuff, you know, I think that's country work, you know, but. <laughs> so now, you know, everything with me, it, it just changed my life tremendously, you know, I'm a happy person today. I grew up in Clio, graduated from Clio schools. I've been in construction my whole life. My dad's been a licensed builder since 1978. So that's pretty much all I've done. And when I heard about the land bank and they were looking for knowledgeable people to do construction aspect of it all, I was on board and I've been on board ever since, and it's been great. Well, when you get there from the outside, it usually looks fine, but when you go inside, the power's been turned off. There's probably five feet of water in the basement. So they get that all out of there. We clean the house out if there's any, anything in there as far as people leaving couches, clothes, beds, whatever. Clean it right out to the point where we can start working on it, fixing it up, painting it, cosmetic mostly. Make it just look nice and People can rent them or buy them. We'll be saving houses on blocks a lot of times, so it won't be considered a demo or the, the property just be unmaintained. If we don't go in and do what we do, then it could go on a demo list, and it's, it's a perfectly good house. So we, we want to try to save as many as we can, and I'm here for the long haul for, with the Land Bank, so I appreciate everything they've done for me, and I'm here to do the same for them. People who are involved in cleaning up their own community, not only 
you know, receive compensation in the form of wages for that, but it's a way to participate in the kind of work that gives you some real pride and satisfaction. It's made a difference, obviously, to put people to work helping to maintain these properties, not just because the properties look better, but because it's meaningful work that connects people to their own community.